Alright boys and girls, so in today's video we're going to be reviewing the 1992 Land Rover Defender 110 So yep, that's what we're going to be doing in today's video and let's go to the dealership right now And yes, it's very very old SUV from Land Rover, alright So yeah, let's go to the dealership, here we go And while I was loading, we're gonna go to the new vehicles, there we go And as you guys see, this is the 1992 Land Rover Defender 110 and yup, it's not limited, alright? It's different one. The one I reviewed the limited car is Defender 90. So this time it's 110. Alright, so the price is $340,000. Okay, kind of pretty expensive though. And based on the vehicle status, with fully stock is 140 miles per hour, 26% of acceleration, 39% of handling, 46% of braking. Okay, well, it's kind of very expensive with worst performance in but you know obviously it's an old suv so we gotta spend it so yep let's hit the startup and let's see the interior so let's go okay pretty good startup pretty good rem okay i gotta be honest with you um let's see the interactive doors look at that oh yeah open everything and that and this oh yeah free camera time let's go so we got the nice defender logo over here that's pretty neat over here the headlight pretty old and the engines holy crap look at that so realistic bro like i can't lie the engine is so realistic yep very detailed okay old rims of course the detail is amazing dude very old the tail light extra tires Yep, 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 yep. The gasoline with the diesel gas. <laughs> um, yep, look at the interior, dude. So, the interiors we have the extra seat in the back, so four seater in the back, and two seat in the front. No, actually, that's one and two and three. So, three people can fit in, and two seater in the front. Okay, and we got the gear ship, very, very old gear ship, and the braking pedal, too. Yep, and handle, too. And we got the nice Land Rover logo and the speedometers, pretty neat. Oh yeah, very nice. Okay, um, there's a sunroof, right? No, okay. So we got the side glass. Yeah, okay, pretty neat. All right, let's do a dry race. And we're not gonna do a circuit race because obviously the car is very slow. All right, so let's do a dry race. Let's go. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, and boom. Yep, very slow acceleration and locks control. Yep. Yep, very slow. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna get like 12 seconds or 11 seconds. 12 seconds, yep. 11.8 seconds, okay. And now let's fully upgrade on this car. All right, here we go. Performance in engines, race engine for sure. And it's very cheap to upgrade, all right? Very cheap. Aspiration quad turbo. Install this. Yo, I hate this. So buggy, man. All right, there we go. Brake, race, brake. There we go. Tires, race tires, there we go. And Natrans install premium and upgrade this bad boy. And drivetrain is all wheel drive. All right, so based on the vehicle status with fully mass upgrade is 168 miles per hour, 26% of acceleration, 45% of handling, 86% of braking, and 91% of Natrans. All right, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's do our drive race, guys. All right, here we go in three, two, one, and boom. Yep, we're ready up in the line. And it's still very slow, all right? <laughs> oh, we're definitely gonna get slow time, for sure. Still 11 seconds, there's no way, dude. With fully mass upgrade, there's no way. Yeah, this is very slow. Alright, let's check out the suspension, but we can do the uproad race, not gonna lie. So let's do the uproad rally race, and I'm definitely gonna lose for sure, so... Yeah, we're racing against the Hennessy Venom GT, and that's not a good sign. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do it anyways.
Okay, well, uh, look at the suspension though. Oh, okay, well, what that, that was a worst start, bro. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm in third place. Oh, I beat the NPC. Oh, that's good. That's a good sign. So we got 2 minutes and 32 seconds. Honestly, this car is not that great to be honest, if I'm going to be honest with you. But the suspension is very satisfying to watch. Not gonna lie. Look at this. But is it really worth it? The price cost $340,000 or something, right? If I'm not mistaken. But the price is very, very expensive. So I would rather not buy in this Range Rover. But <laughs> I will keep it as a car collection. Not gonna lie. But it's very slow. And yeah, the suspension is very satisfying, obviously. Yep. Yep, that was so nice to bounce. Look at that. Yep. Alright. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anyway, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it. And yeah, um, that's it for the video. So yeah, hope that you in this video miss got you drop a like, subscribe, and jump notification, but so you miss any entertaining content. So yeah, catch guys in the next one. Peace.